Hello. Uh, in this video, I want to have a look at the phenomenon you can see in the picture in front of you, uh, which are called crepuscular rays. Now, a lot of people use this as an argument to say that the sun can't be a long way away because they do seem to give the impression that the sun is somewhere just directly above the clouds. And you can see all the rays seem to be pointing to this point up here. So you can imagine the sun's just up here. And let's have a look at another one. Here's another one here. You've got all the rays, that all they're all kind of coming out from a point above the clouds, or they seem to be. And here's another one here. So you've got the rays coming at an angle here. They seem to be hitting it, and they see a different angle there, and they seem to be coming straight down here. So it's indicating that the sun's sort of up here, not that far away. Now, in this video, I want to argue that this is, in fact, just a very compelling optical illusion. And the first thing I want to argue is that this cannot possibly be showing you what it seems to be showing you for two very simple reasons. The first one is, this is a phenomenon that can be seen anywhere on Earth. No matter how north or how far south you go, you can see crepuscular rays. And this picture here was taken in Scotland. This one here was taken in Scotland. Um, to be honest, I'm not quite sure where this one is. But it can be seen anywhere on Earth. So the problem, the problem with this is that, say for example, this one in Scotland, this is about 4,000 miles north of the equator. But it would give you the impression that the sun is directly below this point here. So it's, it's giving you the impression that if you move to over here, that the sun would be directly over your head. This one gives you the same sort of impression. If you went out to the sea somewhere, just a, maybe a mile or so out, the sun would be directly over your head. Same with this one here. Now, that's completely impossible. Because the sun can't be directly overhead in Scotland. It can only be if you're, it can only be ever directly overhead as far north as the Tropic of Cancer. So therefore, what you're seeing here must be some kind of optical illusion. Further to this problem is the fact that wherever you are on Earth, you could travel miles and miles in any direction and the position of the sun in the sky doesn't change any significant amount. In fact, even over a hundred miles or so, it would only change by a degree or so, not a very large amount. Um, but this image here gives you the impression that if you got on a boat and you sailed out, that the sun would go from an angle of elevation of maybe, what, 45 degrees, and a few miles, it would just, a couple of miles or so, it would be directly over your head. And then you could sail on a little bit further and it would drop down to a low elevation in the sky behind you. I mean, that, that's completely impossible. It's just, it's, you, you never would see that. In fact, if you got people to sail out to where all the, you can see where the light, the light beams are hitting the sea on this one. If people were all in boats in these different places, they would all see the sun in exactly the same position in the sky. I mean, you could even try an experiment, get some people, scatter them around a few miles around in a look around, around an area, and as far as you want, 10 miles or so, and at the same time, get them all to record where the sun is in the sky somehow. Or you can use, you can measure the angle of elevation of the sun, you could use a compass to show you what direction it's in. I can assure you, everyone will see it in exactly the same direction and in the same um, angle in the sky. So this means that all these rays here are parallel. All these rays are parallel here. These rays are all parallel. So what's going on? Well, the simple answer is it's perspective. But what you're seeing is a complicated perspective distributed in a three-dimensional space and that's why it's very confusing that's why it's a very compelling optical illusion we're used to seeing perspective like this 
we're used to seeing parallel lines meeting or appearing to meet at a point in the distance we call the vanishing point. You can see this fence, the rail tracks, that fence, everything seems to be pointing to that, a point in the middle of the, the, the picture here. What's, that's basically what you're seeing here, but you're just seeing it in a different way. Now, one thing that a lot of people argue for this, they don't seem to understand that any point in your visual field, any point in the sky could be a, could be a vanishing point. The reason the vanishing point for these rays, these lines here, is that it's not on the horizon, is that these lines are not horizontal, they're hitting the ground at an angle. These lines here are horizontal, they're parallel to the ground, that's why they meet on the horizon line. If all the, the lines are at an angle to the ground, their vanishing point won't be on the horizon. I mean, just, if you imagine choosing any point in your visual field, choose a point in the sky, any point. Imagine a line directly from your eye to that point, say here. Any line that's parallel to that line will look like it's meeting at that point. That will be the vanishing point for that set of parallel lines. So every set of parallel lines has its own vanishing point. It doesn't have to be on the horizon. Again, here's another example. Furrows in a freshly ploughed field. They all look like they're meeting at a point. It's the same as what you're seeing here, except what you're seeing here is in a three-dimensional space. What you're seeing here is on a two-dimensional plane. And like I said, we're used to seeing perspective like this. We don't get fooled by it. But it's because it's distributed in a three-dimensional space, it's, it's confusing to the eye. Now here's another example of perspective. Um, now this shows you that a vanishing point can be directly over your head. It doesn't have to be on the horizon, it can be anywhere. When I mean, this is looking up um, a skyscraper, so you can see all these lines, they're all pointing up to the sky, making it a point in the sky. So there's no reason why a vanishing point has to be on the horizon. There's nothing special about the horizon. Now, I chose this picture deliberately because it, it helps illustrate what's going on with crepuscular rays and why it's such a compelling optical illusion. Because you've got two different sets of parallel lines here. You've got this set of, well, they curve around at the bottom. They're not parallel completely. But this little section here, I think you can see they're straight. These part, this part's parallel. These lines here are all parallel to each other. But notice that perspective creates a very interesting effect. These lines are not at right angles to these lines here, but these lines are coming at an angle. But if you look, the angle that they appear to be hitting this straight line here at changes. So perspective creates a peculiar effect that it can make things look like they're at a different angle to each other than, than they actually are. And that's key to understanding what's going on with um, crepuscular rays. Because I remember, that if you look here, what you've got is lots of parallel beams of light. And they're all hitting the, the sea at an angle. But perspective makes the beams that are hitting the sea further away look like they're at a different angle to the ones that are close by. Just like these furrows here look like they're at a different angle to this line than these ones here, although they're not. These are all parallel, and this is a straight line. This section's straight. So these are all at the same angle to this line, but they look like they're at a different angle. Same here, same here. Now, the upshot of this is that there will be a place where the light looks like it's coming down at 90 degrees to the sea or to the ground. Here, I mean, it kind of looks like it's coming straight down, but it's an optical illusion. All these rays are hitting the sea at the same angle. Okay, and that's why you get this peculiar effect. This is why you get the sense that the sun must be just somehow directly above this a particular point, the point where it looks like 
the beams are hitting the sea or the ground at 90 degrees. You can see here they're almost, they almost look like they're hitting the ground straight on here. But it's an optical illusion. And like I said, it must be an optical illusion. Because you couldn't possibly go maybe, that looks like it's maybe what, maybe two miles away? You couldn't possibly go two miles and have the sun go from an angle of elevation of where it is there to being directly overhead. It just, it's impossible. And also, like I said, this is in Scotland. There's no way the sun could be directly over your head in Scotland. So crepuscular rays are a complicated three-dimensional perspective optical illusion that give you the false impression that the sun is directly over a point just maybe what, two miles away, two or three miles away. But it's, it is an optical illusion. Even if you believe the sun's 3,000 to 4,000 miles away, you couldn't, I mean, you couldn't, um, this wouldn't work because, I mean, this gives the false impression that the sun's maybe only a mile or two above the ground. So it doesn't even work for flat earth theory, never mind, you know, never mind standard spherical earth theory where the sun's 93 million miles away. I mean, whether the sun is 3,000 miles or 93 million miles away, all these rays, look, all these rays would be parallel anyway. So, you know, th this is just an optical illusion.